Good morning, viewers. Welcome again to my channel, Second Matter, the solution to your math problems. This is Ghana Teacher and Essential Exams, Numeracy, September 2024. Objective question one. There's a question on the uh, measurement of money. Memona gave a storekeeper 10 CD notes for items she bought. So she gave the storekeeper 10 Ghana CDs. Now the storekeeper asked Memona to give him an additional 20 pesos to enable him to change it easily for her. So in addition to the 10 CDs, Memona also gave 20 pesos in order to facilitate uh, the change she will receive from the storekeeper. So what is the total amount uh, Memona gave to the storekeeper? So initially, she gave the storekeeper 10 CDs and she has added 20 pesos. So she gave the storekeeper 10 CDs, 20 pesos. So how do you represent 10 CD, 20 pesos in the CDs and pesos column? So we will place the 10 at the CDs column and place 20 at the pesos column. Now, if the storekeeper gave Memona 50 pesos as a change, what is the cost of items she bought? So let's say you went to a store, you gave the storekeeper, let's say, 10 Ghana cities after purchasing an item. And then in return, the shopkeeper gave you a change of, let's say, 3 Ghana cities. Then what is the cost of the item you bought from the store? You gave the storekeeper 10 cities you received a change of three Ghana cities. So it is clear that the cost of the item is seven Ghana cities. So how did you get the seven Ghana cities? So we need to find the difference. 10 Ghana cities minus three Ghana cities. That will give us the cost of the item, which is seven Ghana cities. This time, Memona received a change of 50 pesos. So how do we how do we represent 50 pesos? So the cities column will be zero and the pesos column will be 50. Remember that we want the cost price of the item. So we need to find the difference. Difference means we have to subtract as we did for this scenario. So now let's do the subtraction and see the actual cost of the items we are going to bought from the store. So now let's begin with the pesos column. 20 pesos minus 50 pesos. So 20 pesos minus 50 pesos, that is negative 30 pesos. But we cannot get negative as an answer at this point. So what do we do? We need to move to the CDs column and borrow one CD from the 10 CD. Remember that every one CD is equivalent to 100 pesos. Please take note. Every one CD is equivalent to 100 pesos. Although we have borrowed one CD from the CDs column, since we are bringing it to the pesos column, it becomes 100 pesos. Then 100 pesos plus 20 pesos, that becomes 120 pesos. And then 120 pesos minus 50 pesos, that is 70 pesos. Remember that we have borrowed one CD from the 10 CDs, so we are left with 9 CDs. And then 9 CDs minus 0 CDs, that is 9 CDs. So we can conclude that the cost price of the item at the shop is 9 CD, 70 pesos. So the right answer is option B. So this is for the first method. Okay, we can also use the second method. So the second method is also a fast way of solving this question. So now we saw that Memona gave the shopkeeper 10 CDs, 20 pesos. So we can represent the 10 CDs, 20 pesos using the decimal system. So how do you represent 10 CDs, 20 pesos? So that is 10 CDs, then after the decimal point, the pesos follows. 
So the whole part represents the cities and then the Dasma part also represents the pesos. So 10 cities, 20 pesos. Remember that in the question, um, the shopkeeper gave Memuna 50 pesos as a change. And we saw that to calculate the cost price of the item, we need to find the difference between uh, 10 cities, 20 pesos, and then the 50 pesos. So how do we also represent 50 pesos using the decimal system? So 50 pesos meaning that for the cities column, there is zero. But after the decimal point, we have uh, 50. So that is how we represent 50 pesos. So at this point, you just take your calculator, you enter 10.20 minus 0 0.50. You want a decimal form. So we have 9.7. But you need to add the additional zero so that you get the two decimal places. So 70 pesos. So you could also see that the cost price of the items is 9 CDs, 70 pesos. So the right answer is option. B. Please like, comment, and share the video. See you next time.